You look good, you feel good, you play good. You better play good. Yeah. Hey, there's a lot of look outside right now, and we're going to check in with Bob now to see what our weather's looking like for the evening. Well, we got some clouds, but a lot cooler, about 12 to 15 degrees cooler than a week ago, believe it or not. Big difference right now, we're 84 winds east around 6 miles an hour. The barometer is steady, but we've got rain shower activity developing south of us. Right now, 78 in D.C., rain there just in the last hour, 75 in Fredericksburg, some rain in Virginia, some heavy rain down there. 80 Ocean City, 63 only in Oakland. Cool out there. Take a look at the rain. A bunch of rain now in southern Virginia. It is slowly moving to the north and northeast. Another batch of showers near Salisbury moving to southern Delaware. This activity has weakened a little bit, but it continues to slide off to the north and northeast. So it looks like later tonight we'll see some more rain in the Baltimore region. We had a few showers earlier this afternoon. Most of them kind of dissipated, but there's another batch way out in far western Mount. So in between, kind of quiet. But this batch of south of us does have some lightning and thunder weather and some. Heavy downpour, so that's something we'll have to keep watch on this evening. We've got a whole bunch of rain in the eastern half of the United States. None of this, for the time being, is, is associated with Fred. It's just come ashore near Apalachicola, Florida, in the Panhandle of Florida. We'll show you where that's going to be headed over the next couple of days. Meanwhile, you see the clouds building, shower activity to the south, particularly around western North Carolina. This part of the Appalachians, East Tennessee, Southern Kentucky, streams Southern West Virginia, Southern Virginia, Northern Georgia, portions of the mountains there in South Carolina are going to see heavy rains as Fred moves inland. And it'll weaken quickly, but it's going to bring a lot of tropical moisture with it. Look at the future. Cast. To the west, some shower activity, yes. Locally, some shower activity. And then during the day tomorrow, Fred comes a little further to the north, maybe over a portion of Kentucky. East of it, shower activity over the Carolinas. And eventually in the Baltimore region, it looks like we may see a batch of showers late Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night into early Thursday, the heaviest to the northwest. Well, we can see some heavy downpours with this. That'll be late Wednesday into Thursday. Finally, once it moves out, things will quiet down a bit. Should dry out just a little bit for the end of the week. But still, between now and Saturday, certainly it's chances of rain pretty much every day. Temperatures about where they should be this time of year, generally in the low to mid 80s. Quick look at Fred. Just came ashore there in the Panhandle of Florida, right around Appalachicola, which is that little bump out right there. It's headed basically north, northeast at nine miles an hour. The winds hit 60, but it quickly weakened to 40 and eventually depression. Winds around 30 miles an hour on Wednesday morning, but look how far west it is. It's in southern Ohio, way on the eastern side of it, which still has a lot of rain, even some gusty winds with that, so we'll keep watching that. Meanwhile, Grace, once again, is headed basically for the Gulf of Mexico, well south of the United States. So overnight tonight, showers and some thunder showers. 73 degrees tomorrow, back up some showers and thunder shower. 85 Five degrees tomorrow, about where we are now. 86 every day we have risk of showers, maybe not that much on Friday and Saturday, but again, Sunday and Monday. So, temperatures a little bit slightly below normal and then a little bit above normal by Saturday and Sunday. Normal now will drop to 86 by the week.